Hi everyone and welcome back to Developer Soapbox. Today I want to show you how to use Visual Studio Code to create your development diagrams. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this. If you work as a developer, you're bound to have to create diagrams at some point in your career. So there are many free tools and sites out there, but the one that I personally use quite a few times for design documents is app.diagrams.net, which is formerly known as draw.io. A little side rant that I love the domain draw.io, so I'm not sure why they changed it. But regardless, this is my diagram tool of choice until now, obviously, by the title of this video. So the site itself is okay, but a huge pain point is saving files to lo your local drive. So as you can see, every time I save, you can see that it doesn't actually write to the same file. It creates a new, new file every single time. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know I'm a huge fan of VS Code. So when I heard that I can actually use the same tool inside of VS Code, I immediately had to take a look. So let's go ahead and open VS Code and see what this extension do can do for us. To install the extension, let's go into our extensions tab right here and search for draw.io. There are a few extensions out there, but the one that we're interested in is the one by Henning Diedrichs. And let's go ahead and install on that one. Once installed, we do need to reload VS Code. Let's, so let's go ahead and close and reopen it. And with VS Code reloaded, open a new file and just save that with the extension draw.io. Right, so in Windows, it's a little bit uh, more difficult to save a file with a particular different extension. So you can see that by default, the save as type is plain text. We're just gonna scroll up and just do all files. And then I'm just gonna call this test draw IO and save. And for the plugin to recognize this file, we do need to close it and then just do file, open file and reopen that same file that we just created. Let me close this and look how awesome that is a full diagram creation environment right inside of VS Code. So this is possible since Draw.io allows the app to be embedded into other types of apps. So the extension author was able to leverage the fact that VS Code is just a big JavaScript app. So let's create a quick diagram. I'll start off with a quick workflow type of diagram, which I use quite often in design documents and presentations. And I'm just going to make this real simple, right? So I'm just going to drag in a step. And let's do another step. And you can see that even has an alignment line right there. That's really awesome. And to actually label the components, just start typing. So if I select that first box, let's say this is a extract or some file, right? And then this second step is load file. And that's our particular workflow. Uh, to connect the two steps, you can see that we also have arrows. So basically just jogging it dragging an arrow and you can see that we can also have uh, the snapping components here and to format the particular components we just select the component and you can see right here on the right side it gives us options for the color of the background of a particular component and if we want to change any uh, particular properties of the text you can just click on text and change it there so let's say we want our font color to be black here and apply and there we go. And let's, for the second box, let's say we just want something like that. Before I show another example, you may have noticed that it's really difficult to read with the default dark theme from VS Code, but I personally really like this theme, so I don't want to change it globally. Luckily, the author was awesome enough to include a theme selector specific to the extension. So if I go to File, Preferences, and Settings, and then I search for Draw, dot io and select it and then down here in theme if i select kennedy it, i do have to reload vs code or at least the file so let me go ahead and save this file close open file and reopen my file there you go so you can see that now the theme is applied a light theme is applied just for the extension itself so that's really awesome Next, let me show you how to create an entity relation diagram or ERD, which you're also guaranteed to have to create at some point. And if I scroll down, there's actually a section just for what we're looking for, which is entity relation. And you can see that there are many different kinds of uh, table components out there. So you can select whichever one suits your need. I'm just going to select this third one here. Uh, just as with the workflow type components, you can just double click on the particular areas to change the text. So I'm just going to call this customer 
and customer is just going to have some customer ID and I'm just going to have one row with name. You can delete the additional rows by simply clicking the delete key and I want for my diagram, I want customers to be able to have transactions, right? So it's going to be a one to many relationship between customer and some type of sales transaction. So transaction itself, let's say this also has some trans ID and there's a, a foreign key back to customer. So let's say this has some customer ID as well. To specify the links between the entities, if we scroll down here, you can see that this, this tool gives us the components for every single type of link as well, which is really awesome. So I'm just going to drag one for the one to many. And all you have to do then is connect the particular components. And look at that. Really awesome, right? Just as with the other types of components, I can also change my background color and font color and so on. So if I select the component, you can see that I can change my background colors and you can also see that it changes for the particular area that's selected. So if I want to select just one particular row, I can change the background color for that as well or any of the font properties. So that's really awesome as well, right? Um, in my case, let me just say I want customer to be blue and I want transaction to be yellow. And lastly, one other thing I wanted to mention is that it does have a full set of UML uh, diagram components here. So for example, if you wanted to do like a use case diagram, you have components for that. If you wanted to do something even more complex, like a sequence diagram, you can do that as well. And the fact that now it's inside of our favorite editor is just icing on the cake. If you like this video, I do videos like this all the time. So please be sure to subscribe to receive notification next time that I put post something out there. And as always, thank you very much. Stay safe and have, have an awesome day.